you got to pull through for yourself. You can't be cheating on yourself. This video is going to be to anybody out there who feels like they always drop what they're doing in order to please somebody else. I understand where you're coming from. I'm an empath. You're probably an empath as well. And as empaths, we want to be a people pleaser. We want to drop what we're doing and help everybody else. We want to please every single person around us. That's just in our nature, right? But you got to understand, at some point, you got to put yourself first, right? You're not going to be here forever. We're not, time is not promised, right? So you got to put yourself on first. You got to put yourself first. You got to work on yourself, be the best version of you possible in order for you to uh, provide the proper resources to everybody around you. Like for an example, right? Let's say you're planting a tree. When you plant that tree, you have to make sure that tree is healthy, fresh, strong, firm, um, it's getting its resources, it's getting its water, it's getting everything it needs in order for it to grow at its maximum potential. Now, once that tree grows, once that tree spouts and spreads its branches everywhere, that tree needs to be healthy. In order for that tree to produce healthy fruits for everybody to enjoy, that tree needs to be healthy. So the analogy I'm trying to uh, get to you is that you're the tree. You have to be healthy. You have to be firm. You have to be complete within yourself. You have to put yourself on first before you can produce fruits, before you can spread your branches out to others, before you can provide, in this, in this instance, right, let's say the fruits are money, before, before you can provide those fruits to other people. You have to be the healthiest version of you in order for you to produce healthy, uh, healthy, um, oh, I just had it in my head, healthy healthy, um, in order for you to produce healthy results, right? So I look at everybody like a tree because you can't see a tree grow, but you know it's growing. And in the same way that we're a tree, we have to be 100% in order for us to provide the fruits of our labor so that everybody else can enjoy. So essentially what I'm trying to say is you got to be right within yourself first before you can help others. It doesn't make sense. Like it do, that. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work that you can just help others first and then put yourself last. It doesn't work like that. Cause you see, when you do that, so much time is gonna go by. You're gonna blink, and then ten years from now, you're you're gonna be in a position where you don't even want to be in because you spent all your life trying to, you know, help others, put people before you when you shouldn't have been when you should have been putting you first. You know, so um, don't cheat on yourself. If you go by schedule, if you, you know, live your day to day life on a routine, stick by that routine. If you know you have to go to the gym today, if you know you have to upload a video, if you know you have to go to work, if you know you have to, you know, go to boxing class, go to barbering school, if you know you have to, you know, mow the lawn, do the dishes, anything, if you know you have to do it within that day. Get it done. Don't put somebody else first. And this is, I'm talking to myself as well, because I watch these video back and I listen to what I have to say. And it's almost like I'm talking to myself. And, and essentially, that's what it is. I'm talking to myself. So, um, Tomas, you got to put yourself first. You got to stop putting others before you. If you have a scheduled day, if you have a routine that you go by, if you know that you're supposed to be doing things, get them done first. Get everything that you need to get done and then spend time with your friends. Because you see what happens is when you start cheating on yourself, and I'm speaking from experience, but when you start cheating on yourself, when you start, uh, you know, not going to the gym or, you know, you don't brush your teeth, you don't go to the shower, you put a friend before you, you don't eat, you know, you sacrifice your time to uh, please somebody else. When you start doing that, there's going to be consequences right? It's going to bite you in the ass. It's going to backfire. There's going to be events set up in your life to where, to where it's almost going to seem like things are just falling apart all around you. It's going to seem like things are just being taken away from you because you just don't have that structure. You don't have that control over your life. So everything around you is going to fall. So it's very important to stick by your schedule. Do not cheat on yourself. Put yourself first and understand that in order for you to Produce the proper resources for the people around you. You have to work on yourself first. 
there's literally no way around it. You can't just fix somebody and then it just doesn't work like that. If you want change, it starts in the mirror. Like Michael Jackson said, change, you know, I got to change the man in the mirror because that's what it all starts with. It all starts within you. When you work on yourself, when you build yourself up, when you, you know, expand your knowledge, when you, you know, gain uh, wisdom, when you, you know, reach a higher level of consciousness, by you doing that to yourself, you're now, you're now raising the universal consciousness. You're now, you're now uh, assisting, you're now uh, improving the universal mind, the universal consciousness. Because you see, you know, you may be thinking that, you're like, oh, that's bullshit. How, how is me changing myself going to change somebody else? I'll tell you how. Once you start changing yourself, the people that are around you, they're going to start to take note of that. They're going to start to notice those changes. They're going to start to notice the new routine, the new schedule that you go by, the new aura you're walking with, the new confidence that you're walking around with, the new, you know, sense of, you know, whatever. They're going to sense that out of you. And as a result, they're going to see that and they're going to go, you know what? Maybe I should start implementing something that he does inside of my life. Maybe I should start taking notes. Maybe I should start doing my research. So by you changing yourself, you're planting seeds inside of everybody else's head. And that seed is going to grow. Believe me, it may not seem like it at first. You may, you may look around and you see all your friends and you're like, damn, I don't think anybody's changing. But trust me, that seed is being planted. Never underestimate the power of planting a seed. It's very important. And when you plant that seed... You're going to notice, I mean, it's going to, it's going to take time. I'm not going to promise you anything, but you know, 10 to 15 years from now, people are going to look back and they're going to be like, damn, he was really putting me on game. He was really telling, he was really trying to tell me something. He was really leading by example. And I should have, you know, whatever they're going to say, but planting a seed, don't underestimate it. You have to work on yourself first. You have to change yourself first in order to change every, everybody around you. So I want to encourage you, whatever you're doing in your life, whatever you want to do, whatever you're chasing, don't chase anything. Don't chase anything. Correct myself. I got to catch myself there. Don't chase anything because if you're chasing something, it's running away. Whatever you're trying to achieve, whatever man that you're trying to become in order to attract the lifestyle that you want, um, do not cheat on yourself, bro. Please do not cheat on yourself. Don't go behind your own back. And, you know, hang out with friends. Don't, you know, put somebody before you. Don't, you know, sacrifice your time for something that doesn't really benefit you. Like, all that stuff, man, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass, bro. Like, I'm telling you. For an example, let me give you an example of how it backfired on me. Um, There was a point in time where I would put every single person before me. All my friends, you know, family members everything, mainly friends, mainly friends, so when I put friends before me, I've noticed that every single time, like for an example, I would have my day set up to where I go to the gym, I read a book, um, I post a YouTube video, I try to meditate, I try to read, oh, I already said that, I try to read, I try to, you know, do as much as I can within the first five hours of waking up. If I, for an example, said, you know what, let's just skip the gym, let's skip the video, let's go hang out with my friend. I go hang out with my friend, and what do you notice? I end up spending six, seven, eight hours hanging out with my friend, time goes by, and now i got to play catch up with my day, because I sacrificed my time, I went behind my own back, I cheated on myself. I was supposed to be doing this, instead I put all of my energy towards that. So once I put all of my, once I put all of my energy towards that, it's going to manifest. It's going to manifest and it, it could be good or it could be bad. In my instance, it was bad. When I directed all my energy towards my friend, you know, it backfired because as soon as I went home, I got into an accident. And all of that could have been avoided if I were just to stay home and follow my schedule and be true to myself and follow my routine. But I cheated on myself. I went out and hung out with a friend and now I got in a car accident. And now there's two things that I got to deal with. So you see how life works. You see how, you know, if you're not 
uh, if you're not on top of your game, if you're not being disciplined enough, if you're not, you know, sticking true to what you want to do, if you're not doing any of these things, you're going to see consequences. There's going to be things that are going to happen in your life. You know, I don't want to say what specifically because it could come in many different forms. You know, it could come in a form of a human being. It could come in a form of anything, you know, anything. So I want to encourage you not to cheat on yourself. Put yourself first. I understand as empaths, we want to be people pleasers. We want to help everybody around us. We want to drop what we're doing. You know, that's just what we want to do. That's just the love that we carry around us, within us. But I'm telling you, man, it, it, it's not worth it. Because you got to look at it like this too, right? Would that friend do the same thing for you? You're going out. You're sacrificing your time. You're sacrificing your work schedule to hang out with your friend. Would he do the same for you? I mean, nine times out of ten, you might be saying no. If you're saying yes, hey, great. You know, you got a good friend in you. But a lot of friends are not going to do the same for you. And I'm not saying that in a way like you should be neglect it you should neglect your friends like oh you shouldn't hang around them to me p- me personally I don't really mind because I understand at the end of the day we're all adults we all have a job we all have things to do so I don't take any of that stuff personal but nine times out of ten everything that you're everything that you're doing for your friend he wouldn't do for you or she wouldn't do for you I could be wrong but you know that's just how friends are um, you can't expect to help somebody that doesn't want to help themselves you can't expect to change somebody that doesn't want to change themselves. It all starts with you. So that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys left this video motivated, inspired, or a better person, then I did my part. Other than that, peace, love, positivity. Enjoy your guys' day. Make the best of it. Do what you want to do. Um, go outside if it's nice out. You know, And don't cheat on yourself. I love y'all. Peace.